welcome back to my channel everyone so i'm actually going to be filming filming this for the second time because i messed up the first time but anyway this video is going to be a studio tour um you guys have seen most of my studio anyway but i guess it'll be more in depth with a few explanations and descriptions and blah 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 so stay along for the ride and here is a look at Lux Aesthetics. So if you guys hear me coughing or out of breath, that is because yet again, like I've said a couple times, um, I'm still dealing with like the aftermath of COVID. But anyway, so here is my front door. Um, I just have some Valentine's Day decorations up. So you'll see that in a, a few places, but I mean, for the most part, my studio is pink anyway. <laughs> um, so right over here, we have like my little waiting area. I have a little side table that I got from Amazon, a candle lit. I always have candles lit um, pretty much all around the studio. Um, some decor, I have my bathroom key there for easy access. Uh, I also have my rack card. And this beautiful, comfortable chair is from Amazon. I love this chair, it's so comfortable, it's so deep, it's so soft, love it. Um, yeah, so that's from Amazon. I'm gonna try not to say um a million times. That pillow right there, where did I get that from? I think I got that from Marshalls. And then just like a little throw blanket. This cute, really, really pretty art piece is was gifted to me by my brother. And it fits so perfectly in here. Like, look how cute the eyelashes are. So cute. So he gifted me that for Christmas. And right over here is a little console table that I actually used to use as my nail desk when I first started, like when just, you know, doing manicures and stuff. And um, now it has become a little console table. And I have my little vanity mirror here, a little area for you to sanitize your hands and tissues if needed. Um, up here is a little bit more decor. These are my licenses and I keep extra schoolies out here just in case uh, a client wants to grab a few extra. I always give one with every service so if they need an extra one for the car or wherever they have the, the opportunity to grab one there. Then here is where I keep any promotional promotional deals. Um, so yes, we do do teeth whitening in the studio. I do not do it. I have a um, lady who comes here on Saturdays and does it and she is amazing. She does a great job. Um, so this is my studio door. And of course now somebody's outside plowing the snow. So not my studio door. So this door leads into my treatment room. Um, and then I just have this sign here. So I close this door whenever I am servicing someone in the treatment room. And it's just a little cute sign that says do not disturb. Over here is my little coffee station. So quick story, this cart used to be my old lash cart, which is why you'll see um, glue stains that I can't get out, barber stains, barbicide stains that I can't get out but you know it's okay I've repurposed it and I plan on spray painting it and making it nice and fresh and pretty looking again uh, but for now it'll do and then yeah I just have coffee teas hot chocolates here and the water so that they can get fresh filtered water for the mini Keurig up here above the coffee station is just um some art pieces that I actually made myself. I printed some images out from Google on photo paper at home and framed them. And the frames are from Walmart. And I plan on actually doing the whole wall like um, a gallery wall, but it's all gonna be line art. And just with a touch of like, you know, I mean the whole studio is a touch of femininity, but I love like the woman's body. And I plan to have different um, sizes and shapes and all of that up here on this wall so then I'm gonna pan over this door leads to my nail room this way um, I got that little wreath from Marshall's and then I have my grass wall which is right next to the entryway my grass wall with my studio name or my business name this shelf I usually keep my um, lash shampoos on for retail but I am obviously sold out 
So we are on our way into the nail room. So I'm going to kind of like turn myself around. And here we have my pedicure station. The chair, I used to have a different chair here and I put this um, bar stool, like bar height chair here because I don't know, I like how it gives me a little bit more height away from the um, pedicure tub, but I do plan on also making a, uh, what is it called, like a platform for the pedicure tub. Have some more uh, Valentine's Day decor, some more line art, of course, I love line art. And this went perfectly with this area, like look at the toes, I mean, you know, pedicure. And on these shelves, I keep some of my pedicure products and some extra candles, my lighter. And in this little thing, I keep my um, essential oils because I do have a diffuser over here next to my towel warmer. Right here, I have two big windows. So here I just have like a couple pieces of decor, my sanitizing um like my sterilizer that bowl i use to soak my tools in my nail tools after i'm done and i wash them off with um, antibacterial soap and then once i dry them i put them into the sterilizer so here we are there um here i have my bag there and stuff so i was sitting over here so that's why it's kind of like all over the place but this is my beautiful nail desk and these chairs are super comfortable too they're from where are they from they're also from um, Amazon, which most of the stuff is going to be from Amazon. So is this desk. I freaking love this desk because it's huge. It's long. It's wide. It's like perfect. The perfect amount of space. So here is my little nail area. And here's my chair. This little thing is an air purifier so I keep that right next to me since I am super close to my client um, and you know with COVID and everything so here is my view from behind the desk this thing I found at Marshall's and it fit perfectly under my desk just for some extra storage um, that I needed <laughs> always need a wine uh, opener and how cute is this little vase I got this from Amazon too so behind the nail desk is just some like extra back bar stuff, nothing special. Over here, <laughs> this has been like the problem area. So these are my old chairs from the waiting room. I am taking two home, putting two in storage, Christmas trees going in storage and basically everything else going in storage. This is staying because I use this, the top I used to use for makeup storage, but I'm no longer doing makeup in studio. I'm doing that traveling only. And then the rest of the storage is like my lash supplies. And I can go into depth about that another day. Um, my steamer, so all this, this whole area, what I envision is like, kind of like another little seating area. So I want another chair, like the one out in the waiting room um with like a little um not a desk but i guess like an end table that kind of multi-purposes into like a laptop desk so if i do want to do work here i don't have to sit at my nail area i can just you know sit over here and relax and then i plan to put some artwork on the wall so that is this area this door which you'll notice kind of like a theme especially in my nail room i have to get a second coat of paint on my um doors but we're not going to talk about that right now so that is another door that leads to the treatment room which we'll go into in just a minute here we have my plants i have three real no four real plants in here so that's one my uh what is that my oh my god why am i drawing a blank my humidifier i have this cabinet that my mom actually gave me um and that i keep like just extra stuff some towels and stuff i don't let's see how neat it is it's not that neat right now but it's not horrible but i just keep some extras in here some extra blankets towels robes cleaning supplies and pedicure stuff and manicure stuff 
here is this beautiful console table. I love this also Amazon. Um, and what I have here underneath is a wine fridge because I do serve wine here and there to my clients um, depending on what service they're getting. So if they're doing nails or pedicures, I do serve wine. I've kind of lessened it lately with COVID um, increasing and uh, blah, blah, blah. And this little bin is a mystery manicure bin. That is just like an extra um, uh, laundry bin. Um, here's another real plant. This one is fake. Another candle and just some more decor. Hand sanitizer is kind of like spread throughout. This I have to update. My prices have changed. Um, so that's not so accurate. And then here is my nail polish wall, which I plan to grow um, much more than this, just this. I just want a whole bunch of options. And here's another real palm plant. So that is the nail room. Let's go. I have some plants up here too and back there. Oh, I have five real plants in here. So now we're going to go into the treatment room. And I have a mirror on the back of this door, which I want to paint gold, the trim. I have some back bar stuff and then like my lash certificate. Um, the That artwork is from Target. Here's my lash slash uh, facial bed. Now you'll see like a little towel right there under my pillow. And the reason why I have that there is because my bed is an old bed. And it's also a used bed. So I actually got it from... Uh, Facebook market when I first started you know money is not is low you know I'm just starting off and I do plan to upgrade but for now you know it still does the job so the bed slants a little bit so what I did was just put a towel underneath that side of the pillow that way my client is still balanced they don't feel like they're sliding off to one side or anything um I have my lash stool there my ring light I have curtains here because there's a window here. This used to be a doctor's office. Um, I don't really have a use for the window. So I just put some pretty curtains there and it helps, you know, with the, the vibe. And here I hang like my, um, my aprons for facials and waxing and stuff. And then my clients can also hang coats there if need be. This wall art I made myself and I've mentioned that before. I did it with my Cricut have some more cute decor down there and just a little stool that my clients can use to um put their belongings on over here is my lash car i just got done with the client so you'll see money up there and i'm going to change i set paper towel down on each row and i also have little stuff around but i set paper towel down on each row um just to kind of keep it protected and clean but this will be changed down this is like my phone slash iPad holder. Um, and then we'll go through a lash cart tour another day. I just kind of want to get you get a gist of what's going on in this room. Here is where I keep um, extra supplies. A lot of lash stuff is in there and wax stuff. My wax pot. Those are my AirPods. Another candle. My iPad stays up there either on my case or on this little stand and some extra lashes barbicide and a fan just in case it get hot gets hot which it does a lot some more back bar items um and then some decor now this beautiful mirror i actually thrifted i love it and it came just like this it's really heavy duty too i love this mirror um this blanket i believe i got from target i gotta take my trash out so here i'm gonna pan around to this room So that is the treatment room. So that is it. That is the tour of Lux Aesthetics. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe, please. Um, but I will see you in the next one. Ooh.